The basic idea behind Invisible Borders is to, you know, bring artists together, African artists together, to begin the process of looking at the trans-African exchange. There was little of, you know, communication between uh, or exchange between artists and cultural operators in the continent. And Invisible Borders was basically to was basically founded to begin to look at the question of how do we engage or, you know, other peoples in, uh, in, the, in the continent. So the first form of the project was the uh, Invisible Waters Road Trip. Uh, it began with photographers, Nigerian photographers and a writer. So we said, okay, what happens if we take a trip and beyond the borders of Nigeria and go to other African countries by road? We know there is no river or sea dividing you know, the continent as such. So what happens if you travel by road as opposed to these ways of traveling, which is by air, to know a little bit about our own continent? And that's, that's very interesting because uh, we've always had this sense that you know, there's a lot that we don't know and it's so rich. And yet we don't know the things that we know about our own continent comes from maybe you know, the mainstream media sometimes. So for us, it was very important to say, okay, let's begin by just to travel and discover. And then allow our experiences inform the work we make in the process. The process of the trip is one of constantly asking questions and reflecting on the experiences while on the trip. And so from the onset, you know, we've developed this um, process of working on the go but also documenting and sharing at the same time. While we travel, um, the first thing to note is that we usually have like a span of time and like a schedule of places we want to travel along. Of course, we let some kind of chance happening determine um, whether we we'll continue to the next city or stop somewhere or spend some more time. Um, um, and so we have a span of time. So in the last um, road trip, it was 40, 46 days. Um, and sometimes it's um, 60 days, sometimes it's 151 days, depending on how outrageously ambitious we want to be. Um, um, so what happens is usually that we, because we have short amount of time to spend in each city, we just, you know, drive in, sometimes go to public spaces like markets, um, go to cultural centers um, like museums or meet up with artists. Um, take walks. I mean, um, for sure, since there's a lot of, you know, photographers in the t uh, in, usually in the participating in the road trip, um, they would l always love to be on the streets and just take photos, um, kind of document the, the everyday um, reality of the people that they are meeting, the quotidian, the very, you know, simple um, acts of survival, you know. Um, so it kind of varies. Sometimes we set up meetings in advance um, to meet up with artists while we are in their city. Sometimes we have no plan for the city. Um, but the, the ultimate goal is to be kind of faithful to the encounters we have, sometimes spontaneous and sometimes more um, predetermined. Um, and to let the experiences kind of inform the reflections that follow. Um, so we are not journalists, we are not anthropologists, we, have, we are artists and so we, we believe also in the spontaneous, um, in spontaneity, the possibilities of just being in a place and reflecting almost immediately about that place, inserting your, your pla yourself in that space. Um, and, and then finally, um, we also know the value of knowing about some of the historical context of each places we are traveling through. Um, so, um, on some occasions, we, especially on the last road trip, we spend a lot of time talking to historians or, um, or older people who have some kind of knowledge of the history of the places. And in some way, we let that inform the work that we make um, or in, um, allow that those meetings um, shape the kind of work that we then, especially for the writers, you know, work on after we leave the road trip. Our experiences uh, during the road trip uh, was that, you know, people, we are more loyal to, you know, family value, family uh, formations, uh, their tribal affiliations and associations than anything called Nigeria. It's very, very elusive for them. Everyone have their own 
notion of what Nigeria is. But the thing is that no one is having that conversation of bringing it together, articulating it, and creating a space where all these voices, you know, will 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 find, we feel included, you know, uh, you know, in the, in the in the narrative, in the grand narrative of Nigeria. It's not happening. So you have all these gaps. So this road trip for us is just to enter that space, that void, that gap. So for us is to enter this space and hopefully. Uh, with our experiences, with all the questions we're going to be asking, with our reflection, we produce new knowledge. Uh, you know that we contribute to a conversation that will begin a conversation about what is Nigeria.